This ape says AMC. Did you know Amazon at one point lost 90% of its stock value? Schwartz wanted to believe that they are immortal when we are walking to the final resting place. Interesting. This ape says it begins. Unusual Wales tweeted out, breaking. Credit card debt has reached $1.08 trillion in the US at an all-time high. Now, as an ape, we've been talking about this for multiple years now, how we see the system as very unsustainable, and we think that it's basically just a house of cards as it sits as of current. Comment down below how much more time it's going to take until this whole thing comes crashing down. This ape says an AMC rip would bring me some much needed joy right now, but I guess I'll buy more and hold for the time being. Our time will come, apes, zen mode just now. And although an AMC short squeeze and an AMC MOAS would be absolutely amazing right now, I can only speak for myself, of course, but I'd be personally perfectly fine with AMC trading sideways for a while longer. And let AMC as a company continue to build up exponentially and get closer and closer to profitability. On top of that, it would be amazing to be a shareholder of AMC long term and get paid a nice, fat, juicy cash dividend long into the future. But comment down below how you're feeling right now. This ape says buy when the stock is unpopular. Sell when the stock is popular. Soon we are going to be holding the most popular stock on the planet, not the most manipulated one. Let's go AMC stock. So this is honestly a really good point. And right now across the entire stock market, there are tons of different names that have been beat up significantly since the more recent highs that is. And although because of simple human psychology, for whatever reason, the stock market, it always feels like a good time to buy into a stock when it's doing very, very well. But the reality is when buying stocks or any investment for that matter, you have to remember the basics, buy low, sell high, and be greedy when others are fearful. This ape says this whole too big to fail meeting only shows that Ken Griffin is in fact failing and needs to reconcile his losses and over leverage positions. They know the game is over and we will get paid one way or another. And something tells me he doesn't want to be enslaved by apes forever. AMC not leaving. Wall Street does not want you to know about AMC stock and its growth potential. They fear it. They fear you buying it. They fear you supporting it. Why? Because they are all short the stock and trapped in their positions. Comment down below why you really think that Wall Street, the mainstream media, and pretty much everyone around us wants us to sell and wants us to get out of this play right now. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.